Good day everyone. We have our new topic which is the test planning and construction with table of the specification. This is a very important before we construct any type of test where we have to use for ma uh, major examinations especially. It is not that easy to make an exam without planning. We really need a careful planning before constructing it. And of course, it should be accompanied with table of the specification. Okay, what do we expect for today? What are we going to learn? We, have, we can identify the different steps in developing assessment tools, demonstrate the step in constructing the TOS, or known to be as the table of specification, and we have to emphasize the implication and importance of table of specification in test construction. Now let's find out the major considerations and steps in test planning. Okay. In planning the test, it is very important in test construction. The main goal of evaluation process is for you to collect the valid, reliable, and useful data about your student. Therefore, before you prepare any test, we must keep in mind these three important things. Number one, what is to be measured? Second, what content area should be included? And third, what types of test items are to be included? The first step includes three major considerations. It is very important for us to determine the objectives of testing before preparing test specification. And then you have to select also those appropriate type of test items that you have to consider or the type of test that you have to include. Okay, in determining the objective of testing, uh, you, you can have different purposes in teaching learning process. You can measure the entry performance, the progress during teaching learning process, and even decide the mastery level achieved by the students. Now, secondly, it is important for us to prepare test specification. Why? Because we want to measure the comprehensiveness of your exam. You must have a sample of instructional objectives and content areas. So here, one of the most commonly used devices for this purpose is the TOS known as the blueprint or the guiding map every time you construct a test and this is known as the table of specification, which is in short, the TOS. Now in selecting appropriate item types, we have this objective supply test that can be either a short answer or a completion. Like, for example, identification, fill in the blank. In an essay type, it can be extended or restricted, wherein it can be an open ended question that the student can answer. An objective selection type, it can be true or false or matching type. Or it can be a multiple choice, which is one of the best types of examination that can test even the higher order thinking skill of the students, but it should be properly constructed. Now let us proceed now to the preparation of table of specification. What is first table of specification? As we have mentioned a while ago, it's a blueprint. It is a guiding map. It is a tool which can ensure that a test assessment measures the content and thinking skills that the test tends to measure meaning it can test even the validity of the test through its comprehensiveness if the content of all the things that you have taught are included in the examinations okay now this is very important because through this you can achieve balance in the test and even uh, identify if you have achieved the domains being measured. Balance in the sense that it will not be too easy, neither too hard. Because you will see if the content of your examination can test the lower order thinking skills and the higher order thinking skills. You might be telling that your examination is too hard or it might be too easy. 
So we have to be careful in that. We really need to uh, to have balance in the test and find out if it is comprehensive. That can also ensure to have a fair and representative sample of questions that will appear on your test. Now, what you need to know in making a table of specification. First, how many days did the teacher teach the lesson? Second, how many test items did the teacher want to give the students? Next, the objectives. In the objectives, you can also have the topic. Okay, it can also be included there. The number of hours spent for its objective, or it may be the number of days being spent and the item percentage, the number of items, the categories of skills, what do mean to measure? When I say categories, this include from the lower order thinking skills, which cover the knowledge, up to the higher order thinking skills, which cover the evaluation and creating new knowledge. And of course, the last one will be the item placement, where you can find the different items. Okay, this is it. Here is a sample of table of specification. You can see there the column for objective, the number of hours, the item percentage, the number of items. Now for, for taxonomy level, okay, you, you know this is already the referring to the cognitive domain, starting from, from the knowledge, going to um, comprehension which is understanding and then we have the application and then we have the analysis and then going to evaluation or creating which is the highest form of the Bloom's taxonomy um, hierarchy with its, with its level of complexities and last one will be the column of the item placement. Now in the example, the teacher, let's have a specific example. Let's say the teacher would like to give a 50 item test, which was taught for 10 hours. So we have to divide the number of hours spent to the total number of hours, and the quotient will be the item percentage. So we have here the formula. Item percentage, you just simply divide the number of hours being spent over the total number of hours. So in, in number one objective on the table, if you will see, let's say for example, okay, let's see, objective number one, uh, the number of R is only one, one R, and the total number of R's is 10. So you will just simply divide one divided by 10, and that will give you 0.10, but you need to change it to percent, so that will be 10%. Okay, secondly, you have to multiply the item percentage simply to the total number of items and the product will be the number of item tests for each to check. So from the item percentage to get the number of items, you just simply multiply the item percentage to the total number of items. So if you have the item percentage as 10% or 0.10, and the desired number of items will be 50, so we will just multiply it and you will get the number of items for that objective, which is 5. After getting the number of items in each objective, you have to plot the number of items in taxonomy level based on what domain it may reflect, from knowledge to the synthesis or it may be to create new knowledge. And lastly, you have to plan where the number of items is in the text. Let us see. Okay, example. Here we have five objectives. From the objective number one, which is to distinguish the differences between the types of adjectives. So it's in English. And then secondly, identify the different degrees of comparison. And then construct phrases or paragraphs using different types of degrees of adjectives. And then we have compare and evaluate phrases by using different types of adjectives. And lastly, value the importance of using different types of and degrees of adjectives. And in its objective, it has its respective number of R's. For number one objective, we have one R. Second one is two. Third one is three. 
four objective is two, same thing with number five objective which is two, with a total number of Rs of 10. So let us compute the item percentage. Now, but before that, look at the Bloom's taxonomy. We have the knowledge, comprehension, application, and then analysis, synthesis, and evaluation discover the higher order duties because. Okay, below you can see the plant, the formula. Item percentage can be solved by, the, by dividing the number of R's span to the total number of R's. So you just simply divide 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, and then you can get the item percentage. For the number of items, you just simply multiply the item percentage to the total number of items. So let us substitute. So for number 1, 10%. That is 1 divided by 10. Number 2, 2 divided by 10, 20%. And for 3, we have 30%. So all with 2 number of R's, 2 R's will have 20%. Okay, and that covers 100%. For the number of items, you just um, follow the formula, item percentage time, times the total number of items, meaning 10% multiplied by by 50, that is the desired number of items. So that will be 5. And then for next one is 10. Is 10. And then we have 15. And then we have 10 again. And then the same thing, 10. And if you will try to compute it, we have a total of 50 items. So what you have to do is just to follow the formula for the item percentage and the number of items being shown below. And then you have to distribute it respectively on what level in Bloom's taxonomy the following type of tests should be included. It depends on the type of test that you have to consider. If you decided to use the them fill in the blanks, the identification, the true or false, on mostly these questions um, carry on the knowledge and comprehension even after application. But if you want it to be more more uh, targeting the higher order teaching skills, you better use the, the multiple choice and even the essay. Okay. So let us try to distribute. Okay, for knowledge, the number one objective which can be seen in the knowledge column. The second one is in the comprehension. And then for the third one, you have to construct phrases that is already application. And then you have to compare and evaluate that will be in the analysis already. And number five will also fall in the analysis. So if you will try to look at it for the level of, um, for the higher order thinking skills, you've got 20, the number four and number five objectives. But for the lower order thinking skills, you've got how many? You've got 30. So we can say that this type of examination is more on the lower order thinking skills, which has a higher value than the higher order thinking skills. But if possible, we must have a balance, no? Even though not too much balance, but almost the same with between the lots and the hots to make it more comprehensive to make the test not uh, neither too easy or even difficult and at the last column you will see there where you can find the different items as its placement so that's it we have the total below five for knowledge 10 for comprehension 15 for application and 20 for analysis and that will cover also the 50 items of the test.